There we go. Thank you. Okay. The technology glitch has been done. Uh, yeah, so thank you, look, thank you for organizing this amazing event. I was talking to quite a few people going around these posters um, um, and reflecting on what this group in the room and many of your friends, colleagues, and loved ones have, have worked on over the last many years. Um, so I'll just take a few minutes just going a little bit through the history, uh, talking about where we are today, but I think also reflecting on the work that needs to be done around the world, but also um, you know, here in our country of the UK. Um, so just going through that history, I think everyone's very familiar um, with the early days and we've just very much reflected on um, that HIV and AIDS really was a death sentence in the early 80s. Um, and really through to the 90s, um, we just started to see things flattening off, but really um, very much out of control. Um, all of you worked on many, many wards and were delivering care uh, and seeing this happen in real time. And they were indeed uh, very desperate times. Um, again, these images are all too familiar from where we were 25 and 30 years ago. I think that you know, the challenges in, in society at this time, whether you're in the health service or outside the health service, um, were very real and it, was, it felt like desperate times. There was no um, really thought of a solution and there was certainly polarization happening, I think, in, in our society, um, which, which you were all working with uh, uh, day to day. Um, you know, things progressed um, and this graph shows the number of AIDS um, cases and the number of deaths associated with that and you see the very familiar uh, change in the pace of the curve. So although the number of cases is still going up, um, you see that, that dent there in the early mid-90s um, when there started to be a change and some hope um, for all the work that had been done started to come through and become um, you know, some, some real real hope and some opportunity there. Um, that was timed with the introduction of um, a, a number of medicines, first with single therapies, then two, then three, um, a, and then a, a, a decade or more of optimizing those therapies. Um, and I think it's true you can say today, um, in many parts of the world, um, the therapies are available to, to control HIV and, and give people um, that long and, and normal life. But there is still, still work to do, um, again, both in our country, but around the world. Looking at the UN AIDS targets, the 1990-90, um, you can see, and actually it's quite, done quite nicely in that graphic there, um, that only just more than 70% of people um, know they're HIV positive, so by definition the rest don't. Um, of those, um, more than half have access to HIV therapy, but again, you have to ask, why wouldn't that be much closer to 100%? Um, and of those on therapy, um, you only get to overall 44% undetectable. So still a, an awful lot to do um, with these statistics. I think we all know, um, you know the moving parts and what needs to be done. And it's, no, it's not as simple as just as therapy. There's a whole infrastructure um, and societal challenge that differs around the world, but those challenges are present um, very much in our environment. Um, certainly the time for, for progress isn't over. Um, there's still, uh, as, um, as people are newly diagnosed with HIV or are, are living um, much longer um, with HIV, the, the challenges are present. And it feels like particularly now um, things might have maybe stalled a bit or the challenges are getting harder, um, whether it's talking about stigma um, that, that seems to be still very present, um, whether you talk about racial identity, social isolation, these are very, very real issues. Um, and also particularly as, as people are aging, um, you know, the challenges are there and I'll show in, a, in the next slide the challenges that are there. Um, these data were reflected on uh, just a couple of minutes ago, a survey in the green looking at the HIV community um, and in blue population statistics. Um, and without running through the numbers, you can see some very stark statistics there. And just a reminder, these are UK statistics. So this is what's going on around all of us today um, in the UK. Um, and there's, there's still an awful lot of work to do. And again, very much over and above the medicines that are available. I think we've done a, a very good work in the UK, getting the right medicines available um, and educating and working in the healthcare system, but much more to do 
um, to, to normalize these statistics. Um, if you look at the, the, the 390s of diagnosed, untreatment, and undetectable, um, you know, those are progressing, still more work to do, but people now talk a bit about the 490, which is that normal quality of life, what we would all expect in our societies, but actually societies around the world, that people um, should absolutely live a normal quality of life um, w with their HIV, um, and that should be an expectation. So that is also really there as the, the so-called fourth 90. Um, so just to summarize, I think where we are today is uh, at a very um, important point in time in, in managing HIV and, and living with and working with HIV. There's of course been huge progress and, and, and much work has gone into this again, um, Thank you to all of you and all of your friends, colleagues and loved ones for what you've done. Um, but the work, the work is still there um, ahead of us, I think, and particularly in reducing stigma and some of those other areas I mentioned. There, there is an awful lot to do. Um, and Gilead, you know, we're proud to be part of that history. We've been a company only for 30 years, uh, and that whole history we've been working on therapies for HIV, amongst other things. Um, we feel like we've achieved a lot, but we're certainly not complacent, and we and we would recognize that we could have done more and we need to do more um, and to do more as we carry on optimizing management of HIV whether that's treatment, prevention or cure um, in our research labs um, you know, we look to you to challenge us um, and demand that we do more and do better so thank you again for this great event and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening thank you